want to talk to you this morning about how to stop hitting yourself and your kid in the head with a hammer and probably save a lot of money in the process. Uh, what I like to do is open up with a video we produced a number of years ago that I think kind of is a good intro to what I want to talk to you about. You have been pre-approved for a student credit line with a limit of $3,000 and a low introductory rate of 13.99%? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. I mean, so I can look for that in five to eight business days. No, that sounds great. No, thank you. Thank you. Gosh, that's awful. Gosh. Be available for anyone who needs prayer or who needs to even talk to me about anything. Come see me, please. I keep getting these splitting headaches, bastard. And I can't figure out why. Listen, I think it's the devil or something. I think it's one of those strongholds or something you was talking about in your sermon. Well, you may be right, in a way. I need you to pray for me or put me on the church prayer list. These headaches are ruining my life. I'll be happy to pray for you, John, but it won't do you much good until you stop hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. Stop hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. Read and obey the book. What triggered this this morning is I just left church. And I met a friend in the parking lot who missed a meeting last night and explained to me that he wasn't there because he had to stay after work and minister to a co-worker. So they work in a ministry together. That was just devastated. Um, devastated about the fact that her child had left the church and then went off and said to everybody, seems like all these kids are just leaving in droves, which is statistically a fact. You know, what's going on? What's going on? It's funny because the day before, I, got, I talked to one of my best friends on the phone. Eric Hollander, and he was sharing with me about a friend who, uh, similar thing. She, she was a non-fire Christian in high school, had a great worldview, all that kind of stuff in place, but a, very, a talented artist, and they made that fatal, or hopefully not fatal, but serious mistake of sending her off to some art school somewhere. Within one year, boom, lost her faith, now identifies as bisexual, tattooed up, it's just, just crazy, has lost it. Folks. We have got to stop hitting ourselves in the hammer with one of the most fundamental things. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they'll not depart from it. Hitler, Lenin, all these guys knew that if you want to take a, take a person and turn them into a Nazi or turn them into a communist, grab them when they're young, condition them when they're young. When they're old, they, that's what they're going to end up being. And we think this is just grade school. No, it's it's until you're done with college, until that adult brain is formed and all the synapses, the, the adolescent architecture it falls down and the new brain, the adult brain emerges. They're extremely vulnerable. And we live in a very satanic, diabolical time. I mean, the house was swept clean for the most part. America, America was never perfect, of course. But fundamentally, it had a basic Christian worldview, so much so that Ben Franklin, who was a total pagan, but he thought like a Christian. Why? Because the, the, the world had been baptized in so many respects around him and he was basically just molded by that and defaulted to that kind of Christian thinking. That was America at one point, all the way up through much of the 20th century, although there were cracks in the foundation from the very beginning. I could go off on that, I won't. 
but these cracks, these weeds that were planted by the enemy have metastasized, they've grown, and now they're choking out the life of this country. They're choking it out. We live in a very satanic, demonic time. And Satan has specifically targeted the school systems, specifically targeted them. And, uh, and you put your kid in these school systems, you're hitting them in the head with a hammer, you're hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. How many prayer meetings have I been to over the years where people are Pray for my kid. Pray for my grandchild. They've walked away from God. They've lost their minds. And you do a little bit of digging, and sure enough, the kid was in school way more time than he was in church or at home, in a demonic school. There are some exceptions in the public school industry in some small towns and stuff, but for the most part, 95%, it's a wasteland. Worse than a wasteland. It's a demonic wasteland. we got to stop doing it. And to send your kid off to a college like Georgetown or UVA or Ohio State or whatever. You're out of your mind. And to pay all that money for it. Yeah, there are some good colleges. And I, I think it's great to go to college if you're called to it. I think probably 50% of people are not. But um, if you're called to it, there are some good schools. You can count them on your fingers and maybe your toes and maybe a little bit more than that. Not too many. Not too many. But uh, we have got to stop doing this. I mean, how many radio shows, talk radio shows that I listen to or conservative television news shows where they have somebody on who's fighting at the school board level for the craziness that's going on. And that's great. I mean, that's wonderful. And particularly you retired people out there, put aside your golf game and watching television, get involved in your local community, get involved in the school board. You don't have to have kids there. You don't get involved and try to try to pull as many people out of hell as on their way to hell as possible. But these are often moms who are talking about this crazy stuff that's going on in their school. But they still have their kid in the school. I mean, come on. we got to stop hitting ourselves in the head with a hammer. I'll close with this. Um, thank God for Mike Rowe. Trade school. Trade school. That's where we should be focusing our attention for so many young people today. You don't want your kids to grow up and get a job that's going to be replaced by robots. Trade school is where it's at. And you can make good money at trade school. So hopefully that's a little encouragement. And by the way, I'll put in the description box, uh, box a link to a friend of mine who started a new trade school here in, in Steubenville. That's, uh, that's awesome. This is awesome. And we've got places where you can stay real inexpensively. You can immerse yourself in the culture, that self-consciously Christian culture that's developing and growing here. It's really amazing. I love living here. So with that, God bless you. And uh, stop hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. How about that? Meanwhile, I was still thinking.